love Barely Lethal. Um, I bought this. I bought this simply because uh, Samuel Jackson was in it. Um, a lot of times the sleeve disappears with Blu-ray disappears. So, um, I try to get them kind of fast when they're. It's kind of a small film. Uh, this was done with the Rat Pack logo, which is like Brett Ratner's production company. I really appreciate what they're trying to do. I mean, they know, they know the genre that they're working in, but <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun. You, it's about, uh, girl assassins, like a whole assassin school, but it's also done in a very PG-13 way. You get a PG-13 Samuel Jackson. You get some comedy. He's this, you know, I mean, he's the serious guy in a comedic role. Uh, highlight is definitely when he shows up as a bus driver. That's great. Uh, <laughs> um, I think at the time... I didn't really... I knew Haley Steinfeld, but I wasn't, like, uh, connecting her to all the things that she's been, like, Pitch Perfect or True Grit. Uh, she plays, actually, the little girl in True Grit. I know most people. Um, of course, Jessica Alba. Um, Jessica Alba... Jessica Alba's a strange actress. In this... I don't, there's like this conscious decision what she's making, what she's doing. She has a very like crazy look, very sure of herself. Um, she's very back and forth. I don't think a lot of people respect her very much. I think she's kind of awesome in like Machete or uh, Sin City, basically. Robert Rodriguez films. Um, she, she's fine here. Actually, everybody is doing a great job. They created their own, like, language, but they did it with such confidence to act like this stuff is real. Like, words like nickel and totem pole. And I loved it so much. I'm a writer. Um, I put it right into several books. As I write, when characters say the things that totem pole, which is, like, totally... And nickel, nice. Um, when characters will say those words, I'll say those words instead because I want to continue this this world that the director created. Um, of course, it. I mean, it'll 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 take the turn that you think it's gonna take, but then there's more, a little bit more complexity to the characters than you usually get. So, you gotta be fine with it. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm really happy with this film. Uh, I weigh in like, will this make it to the top five? By the way, my top five doesn't have Tarantino or Spike Lee films in it. Um, on purpose. Like, we put those aside, and then we take top five. Will this make it to the top five? I don't know. I want it to. I guess when you put your bar kind of low, and they really leap over that bar, uh, whoa! Yeah. You catch it and go, yes! Um, I'm just saying, if you're making a movie, just be smart about it. Just, I mean, even if you're making something that's not fully original, uh, push the boundaries as much as you can, make a world, you know, use your money the best way that you can, uh, just give me a good time, because this was not a disappointment, this was actually a lot of fun, so, thank you, Barely Lethal, some people didn't complain about the name, I'm like, you may be hearing barely legal because it sounds like that. 
but it does make perfect sense because she's this assassin who's introduced into this high school. Um, but I think she's having doubts about what she should be doing about, you know, murdering people, maybe, maybe not. I think she's starting to, well, why don't you just go see it? Okay.